Francesco and Gail Boglioni have opened the doors of Petersham House in Richmond, London The couple bought the Queen Anne House in 1998 and the nursery located at the bottom of the garden. It took five years for the house to be completed and is adorned with antiques and colourful pieces of art the couple host extravagant parties in the nursery, which also has a popular restaurant serving seasonal food, attended by royalty and celebrities alike. It was during an afternoon with Mick Jagger and Jerry Hall in the late 90s that the Borgiones were persuaded to swap their South Kensington dwelling for a sprawling, but dilapidated, 18th century estate in Richmond by rock royalty. Enticed by the enormous garden and the prospect of a quieter life in the leafy London suburb, the couple, Italian businessman Francesco and Australian former model Gail, sealed the deal on the house in 1998, and just two years later snapped up the nursery that adjoined the property. Now, the family have thrown open the doors to their stunning home in the Maverick Soul, a new book by interior decorator Mae Watts, mother of Academy Award-winning actress Naomi, and photographer Hugh Stewart. In the past 17 years, the entire family, including their four children Laura, Harry, Ruby and Anna, whose godfather was the late David Bowie, have all pitched in to build the business from the ground up and, today, Petersham Nurseries also contains a popular restaurant beloved by the rich and famous, located at the bottom of their garden. Passionate for sustainability they literally rub shoulders with royalty hosting extravagant parties, and charity benefits of which have been attended by Prince Charles and Camilla. It took over five years to finish the project, filling the house with an eclectic mix of items yet retaining its Englishness, picking up items on their many travels across the globe. Francesco and Gail are avid art collectors with works by Alex Katz, Gary Hume, Paula Rigo and Damien Hurst all adorning the walls of the cool interior. They painstakingly restored the walls, removing plasterboard and matching colors to evoke the original, 17th century era. Dark wooden floors feature throughout the property which offsets the cool creamy walls that provide the backdrop for the carefully sourced antiques and artwork from around the world. Gail explained how they approached the decor and the profile for the book, We never had a plan for anything, but I wanted to keep the Englishness in the house and we began in a simple way and pulled the house together, over a period of five years. Francesco keeps me on my toes and annoys me on a daily basis. The oldest part of the house is the guest, sweet and I really stripped everything back to its purest form there. I wanted to keep it very simple. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.